Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to do question number 19 of your textbook given on page number 274. So here is the question. AT and M are the partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 1. Here forms balance sheet is given as on 31st March 2017. Further it is given that M died on 1st July 2017 and as per partnership agreement among partners here following uh, conditions are given. So here we have to prepare M's executor account and executor's loan account. So here is the answer. Here let's start with the first point. In the first point it is given that value of land and building and furniture is to be increased by 10%. So that means here value of land and building is increasing by 1200 as in their balance sheet land and building is shown at rupees 12,000 and 10% 10 of 12,000 is 1200. So we will record it on credit side as it is an asset and value of asset is increasing. Then second point cost of stock is rupees 5500 which is to be brought in the books. In their balance sheet, stock is shown at rupees 6000 and the new value is 5500. That means here value of asset, value of stock is decreasing. That's why it will be recorded, recorded on debit side of revaluation account. Here it is to stock account 500. Then 400 uh, to be returned off as bad debts from debtors. So it is a kind of loss for the firm. So it will be recorded on debit side of revaluation account. 400. The next point, goodwill is valued at rupees 7200. So now let's see what is the share of goodwill of the deceased uh, partner. So here, according to their old profit and loss sharing ratio, that is 4 is to 1 is to 1. Here, profit uh, share share in profit of deceased partner M is uh, 1 by 6. So 7200 divided by 6 would be uh, 1200 here it is by goodwill account which will be given by continuing partner in their gaining ratio. Now next point. Here fifth point M is to be given share in profit till the date of his death on the basis of sales and net profit of last year. Sales of last year was 8 lakh. Sales of first three months of current year was 4 lakh. Net profit of last year was 2 lakh 40,000. So we will calculate here profit uh, of deceased partner. So let's see working note for this. So here is the working note for the calculation of M share in profit. Here the profits uh, till the date of death are to be ascertained on the basis of sales. Here it is given that M died on 1st July 2017. And here accounts being closed on 31st March 2017. So here M share in the profit of the firm from 1st April 2017 to 1st July 2017 means 3 months profit we have to calculate. So if sales of 2015 and 16 is 8 lakh and on that net profit is 2 lakh 40,000 so what would be the amount of net profit for three months sales of 2016 and 17 if the sales is a sales for three months is four lakh so here by cross multiplication we will get one lakh twenty thousand that is three months profit of the firm so here M share in profit would be 1,20,000 multiplied by his share in profit that is 1 by 6. So here we will get 20,000. 20,000 is M's share in profit. 
So here we will record it on credit side of AMS capital account and share in profit that is 20,000 as he is entitled to receive it. Then uh, we will distribute general reserve. We know that the general reserve is distributed among all the partners in their old profit and loss sharing ratio. So according to that ratio, M will get uh, 500. So here we will record it on credit side, 500. Then uh, on the asset side in balance sheet, loan to M is given, which is 9,000. That means uh, firm must have given loan to M. So here it will be recorded on debit side of M's capital account. Here it is 9,000. Then uh, let us close revaluation account. If we close it, we will get uh, a difference on debit side. That will be revaluation profit, which is 900. And it will be distributed among all the partners in their old ratio. So according to that here, M will get 150. So it will be transferred to M's capital account on credit side. Here it is 150 by revaluation account. Now uh, we will uh, uh, now it, in the sixth point that is on the last point it is given that 1850 to be paid to M's executor in cash and balance amount in two equal annual installments with interest at 12% interest per annum. So at, as it is given that 1850 is to be paid to M's uh, executor in cash. So here it will be recorded on debit side of uh, M's capital account that is 1850. Now let us see what is to be done next. Uh, yes, now we will find out balance amount in M's capital account. Here balance amount is 20,000 which will be transferred to M's executor account. Here, is, here it is. If you close M's capital account, you will find difference on debit side which is uh, balance amount that is 20,000 and this is the amount which will be paid to him in two equal annual installments with interest at 12% interest per annum. So here it is 20,000. Now let's see how M's administrators or M's executors account will be prepared. Here it is. First here balance of M's capital account will be transferred here that was 20,000. So here we will transfer 20,000. Here it is by M's capital account 20,000. Now, now let us calculate the amount of interest due and which is to be paid. So here, let us calculate it here. Balance amount is 20,000 and rate of interest is given that is 12%. That means we will multiply it with 12 upon 100 and we will calculate it for nine months as here partner died on 1st July 2017 and our account being closed on 31st March 2018. So here uh, uh, in this period, there are nine months. So we will multiply it by with nine upon 12. So we will get 1800, which is the am uh, amount of interest due. So it will be recorded on credit side of M's executors account. So here, uh, on debit side, we will find out the balance that means amount, total amount due to be paid plus interest that is 21,800. Now this balance will be transferred in the next year that is here it is 1st April 2018. Our second year is starting on 1st April 2018. So here we will transfer here this amount 21,800. Now let us calculate the amount of interest which is due. So here it is. Uh, on 20,000, here we will, we will calculate interest for three months. 
how come three months here our second year is starting from 1st april 2018 and here he died on 1st july so up to 30 june uh, 2018 there are three months so here if we calculate three months interest we will get 600 now now as uh, the firm has to pay balance amount in two equal annual installments so we will divide 20000 uh, by 2 for getting two equal installments so that would be 10000 so here on 10000 nine months interest will be calculated nine months means from 1st july 2018 to the up to the end of second year that is 31st march 2019 so there are nine months so 10000 multiplied by 9 upon 12 multiplied by 12 upon 100 would be 900 now here the amount of first installment including interest is paid that is 12400 and remember when the installment including interest is paid it will be recorded on debit side of executors account so here on the completion of second year we will close here so here we will get balance uh, on the completion of second year that is 10900 which will be transferred to the next year here it is 10900 by balance brought down date 1st april 2019 now here our second installment that is 10000 is due so we will calculate interest for on 10000 so here interest on 10 10000 will be calculated for 3 months that means uh, from 1st april 2019 to 36 to 30 june 2019 that means from the beginning of this year to 30 june 2019 because on 1st july uh, the partner had died so we will calculate interest up to 30 june only so here from 1st april 2019 to 30 june 2019 interest amount of interest is 300 now here the total amount that is paid is 11200 that means the amount of second installment including interest that is 900 and 300 so that comes to 11200 so here in this way with this both the installments including interest have been paid so with this we have completed this chapter i hope you would have understood this in the next session we will be studying next chapter that is chapter number seven dissolution of partnership firm till then keep on learning and practicing thank you very much